Hey, what's up, you guys? So this is my next review, yeah. And I got a new shirt a few days ago, and it's awesome because it is Dave Days. Yes, everyone loves Dave Days. I know, it's my kitty. But yeah, okay. So next review, the movie Drag Me to Hell. I liked it, but it wasn't the best movie I've ever seen. I've seen a lot more horror, better horrors. It was okay, but the storyline was kind of weak. Basically, this lady comes in, and she needs an extension on her rent, and they say no, so they cur so she curses her. That's how the whole movie starts, and that's the whole plot to the movie. The curse. It's It has a horrible storyline, but the way they put it out and all the work they put into it, it turned out pretty good in the end. Aside from the crappy storyline. I mean, basically all it is is demons haunting this chick. It's a pretty good horror. Not the best. Not the worst. It's up to you to decide. I mean, there's some funny parts in it, but not a lot. And for some reason, the chick keeps eating a lot of liquids and, like, random disgusting stuff. Like, the dead body, like, pukes out this, like, gross-ass liquid right into her mouth. And it's really nasty. And... I don't know, I just, all I know is I wouldn't want to be this chick when they were making this video. Because it's horrible. It just looks disgusting. So, that's my review on it. I'd give it a 7 out of 10. No, yeah, 7 out of 10. And I know I keep going from out of 5 to out of 10. I'm going to stick with 10 from now on because I can give a more accurate description then. So, drag me to hell, 7 out of 10. Not the good, not the best, not the worst bad storyline good stuff that's it